Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. Beautiful days we've been having so far. We've had a week of lovely sunshine, calm weather, and I managed to get out on the 5th and 6th of June, which was brilliant. Uploaded a lot of videos. Do take a look if you haven't seen them. This video is about an unboxing I've got to do, and here it is. So let's see what's inside. But before we do, I'd just like to say I've purchased this from my local hobby store and they were gracious enough to actually deliver it to my house save on postage and everything I said I'd pick it up from them on a Saturday but they weren't open and they said we'll bring it to your house and they did which is absolutely fantastic thank you very much let's get it open and there we are it's uh, Arrows Hobby Viper EDF Jet I decided to move on from the Crusader but I want to go up a bit into something more modern so I'm going to be using this Viper as my next EDF and then that will be a step into the bigger EDFs I've purchased. Let's take a look at some of the specs on this one. So the specs, it's got a wingspan of 773.5mm so it fits within the similar range actually of the 800mm Warbirds doesn't it? 30 amp speed controller 3 servos, takes a 4 channel so I'll be using an AR410 in it. It's got the centre of gravity mark there, it's got a 50mm 11 blade EDF unit and this says it takes a 1300 3 cell. I'll be tempted to take a look on YouTube, see what other people have used and see if I can get a 2200 milliampere hour in there. It's got no landing gear to deal with, it's a toss it and I'll belly land it. It's lightweight and streamlined. Let's get the box open. Let's put the box to one side, open it up, take a look. Keep that there. So let's take a look at the manual. It actually says it's the Operating manual, not the assembly manual. Very small part count. Specification table here. We've already taken a look at those. It looks like the tail plane is glued in, as are the wing tips. Then the main wing is screwed into the body. Showing an XT60 here. High rates, low rates, centre of gravity 60 to 70 millimetres from the root at the leading edge, backwards there. And then the rest is just, don't really worry about it. Here we have the main wing. Very nice, very nice. You can tell it's made by FMS just by touching it. Very compact foam, ailerons on a Y lead, four holes to screw the wing into the body. On the underside what we've got, we've got a spar running through it looks like, don't know if it goes all the way through but there's a spar here on the leading edge. This is nice, they've given you a little cover for your servo arm. Because you belly land this you don't want to be digging in and then you've got your clevis and a piece of tubing holding it all together. Everything's already in there for you. They've even taped over the wiring. A foam hinge but it's got a sparkle to it. If you look at it closely you probably can't see it on the camera but because there's a little sparkle in there I know it's laminated. Finger grips looks like you hold it like this underneath to throw it and even though this is a cheat hole you can actually put your finger there as you throw yeah very nice these are decals no painting just decals it's a nice looking wing this is the joining part where you put the wing tips on speaking of which here is a wing tip and it's just a flush joint See here, just literally goes on like that and glues in place. So there's two of those. There were two of those. There's only one here now. There it is. Must have dropped out. Lovely packaging, if you like packaging. Let's take a look at the bits. 
Wow. It's got these tiny screws. Don't know if they're focused on those. Tiny screws. You only need four of them, you always get a spare with FMS. Door's about to slam, sorry about that. Yeah, so they just go through there and you screw it in. Take a look at the tail plane. Or the horizontal stabiliser with elevators. All one piece, again laminated, definitely laminated. Nice easy hinges. Horns already connected. They've only got two holes on the horns. And that gets glued into the fuselage. This is all stickers as well. It's very dense, it's very nice. Don't think there's any carbon or fiberglass spars in any of that, so it just is what it is. That's a nice little good looking jet body. Hard plastic nose. It's got the branding on the bottom. This is a cooling scoop. And it's got hard plastic surround. This is when you're coming into land, I suppose. Big air intakes here and here to get funneled through into the main body, which then goes into the EDF unit tucked away in there. Speed controller is a 30 amp speed controller, Arrows branded, and it's sitting in its own little compartment up there. Here are the little pieces where the screw goes and looking at them I think I can see a little brass piece at the end so even on these it, I'm pretty sure you're screwing into brass I might be wrong on that I'll take a much closer look and I'll put a little bit of text underneath if it is any different yeah very nice everything's decal on it Viper stripes, decal, decal, decal. It's got a rudder place, but there's no rudder. So it's got the lines, panel lines, but it, it's not actually functional. This is where your EDF goes, already glued in by the look of it. Plastic fins on the underside, help stability. And there's your fan unit, 12 blades. Yeah, very nice. See how we get this off. It just lifts off. Strong magnet here. I could feel it as I was pulling it off. And a tongue and groove on the front. So tongue and groove on the front there. And a magnet on the back. Yeah, nice. Interesting that this is all black. And that's it. Inside, you've got the little scoop coming up there for the air cooling for the battery. There's the battery tray, you've got some Velcro, got a strap, got an XT60, which is very nice. Single servo in there with two push rods because the elevator has separate push rods. Well, the speed control is tucked away up there. I think, if I'm correct, this is a little bay here where you can put an AR410 very nicely. Tuck it away in there. So there it is, that's the Arrows Hobby 50mm Viper. It's not new, it's been around for a while, but it's new to me. So thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on another video. Cheers!